Hey, Hebro fans, this is Todd. So I got my cool plasma magic ball from uh, FYE. Um, it should be pretty cool. So let's check this out. Now, I've already opened one side of the box, but I found that the box fits just really tight inside there. So to truly get it out, I'm going to have to open the other side and push it through. So let's go ahead and do that now. I was going to open it up and take a look at it, and I thought, you know what? It'd be cooler to open it in front of you guys so you guys could see it for the first time that I see it for the first time, too. So let's get this thing open. Let's do this thing and find out how cool or how lame this really is if it actually lives up to all my expectations of what I wanted. Now, when I first purchased this, I thought it was going to cost a certain price, but it ended up being a little more. L let me break it down for you. So someone on He-Man.org found this cool plasma power sword ball, and I thought, oh, that's cool. I got to get that. So they said it was on in a place called FYI, a store I never heard of. So I went and clicked on it to see it, and I thought, 40 bucks? I don't know. That's pretty close to my price point. I thought, maybe I should look on Amazon, but then I saw it was an FYI exclusive. I thought, oh, man, it's an FYI exclusive. And then I thought, 40 bucks? That is just... Well, it is cool, and I can make a great video out of it. I guess I can pay 40 bucks, and then, well, bam, this thing pops with a great 20% off my next order. That's cool. So I type my email address in, thinking, okay, 10% off would be $4 off, 20%, $8 off. $8 off, that's a deal. I'm cool with that. And so I typed it in, kept checking my email over and over and over again, didn't get an email. So I went ahead and thought, I'll just stick up my cart and see what I got. So then I was in my cart, and it's like, man, $10 shipping too? Oh. So now I'm up to $50, and I'm really debating back and forth, should I get this? And as I'm scrolling around the screen and looking, I find this thing that says, hey, you can get 10% off. And I thought it said 10% off for joining their mailing list. So I typed in my email address for their mailing list, and it kept giving me an error over and over, probably because I already typed in the thing for 20% off. And I was like, man, I guess we're not even going to get at least a 20% off. And I thought, well, at least there's no tax, right? That's kind of cool. I mean, sure, it's still 50 bucks, but what the heck? I already got it in my cart. I'm going to do this thing. So then I clicked the next button to submit it. And whammo, it charged me 5404. It charged me almost four and a half bucks for tax on top of it. I was like, man. So this little ball ended up costing me 5404 for this ball. So yeah ended up spending a lot more than i was planning even higher than my cutoff price point but anyway all right so now let's go ahead and finish opening this and shove this through and it shows the revelation he-man holding up his sword and lightning striking around it. And it's funny, it looks almost like Faker because it's blue. So that's kind of funny. Now it does say on here, home decor, uh, thirty nine ninety nine. But as you saw in my breakdown, it was a little bit more than that by the time I got it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this beastie box up. It's like it might be bigger than I thought. Wow, well, this is actually quite a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it would be some little itty bitty ball like the other one I have on my desk. So in comparison size to a figure, here's an Origins figure. And then go and pull out Revelation He-Man. He-Man. So you can kind of get the idea of how big this ball is. So, there you go. It is a lot bigger than I expected. I was hoping to put it right in front of He-Man and line up the camera just right. But we'll still mess around with the camera angles and see what we can and can't figure out. Alright, so let's see what it takes to run this. So I'm guessing it takes batteries. It has a DC plug. Let's see if I have a, if it came with a transformer. 
And actually, it looks like it did in the bottom of this box. Transformers. Not too much more than meets the eye. Ta-da. That's cool. I was hoping it had battery power so you can use it anywhere you want, but at least it has power of some sort, so that's good. My other one that I have, like I said, is really small, and it has uh, USB plugs or batteries in it. But the ball is a lot smaller than this is. This is crazy how big this one is. I'm actually really surprised of its size. It's very hollow inside here, though. Now, of course, it does have the Revelation um, logo on here. If you take a look at it, it's it's not really a sticker or a decal. It's actually right on there. But I imagine you just could either put black tape over it or probably clean it off with acetone or something. I'm just going to leave it because I really don't care. But if you wanted to not have it say Revelation, it would not be that difficult to cover that up. Try to get this cord untangled. Ugh. The best way to tie a knot is stick some uh, cord in your pocket, like uh, um, iPhone head headphones, and then wait about 15 minutes and pull them back out, and you'll have the best knot tied in the world. That's what it seems like sometimes. It's crazy how things can get so quickly tangled. It's like, I just bought this. I just bought this cord. All right, let's smooth it out a little bit. Beep. All right, let's plug this thing in. Let's do this thing. All right, it's plugged in. Let's get some of the scrap away from here so we can have a nice, clean thing. It does have directions. I guess I probably should have looked at these first. And let's see, important safety. Somebody asked about the voltage online, so here you go. 12 DC volt, uh, 750 uh, milliamp adapter only. And it goes into some other stuff there as well. Hopefully it helps you for outside the country. And it says to use carefully unpack plasma lamp from the package and place the product in a horizontal surface, connect to adapter plug and base and, the, and slide the switch to the position on. Warning prevent fire shock hazard. Do not expose this unit to rain moisture for indoor use only. Do not open base a product. Do not attempt to remember, remember remove glass bottle. So there's some different warnings in there. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure it's off before I turn it on. Cool. And let's go ahead and uh, plug this in, turn it on. Oh, you can already see the glowing of the magic sword. Burp, 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 burp. Burp. Here's the audio version. By the power of Grayskull. Well, it needs more audio than that. Hey. Boop. Oh, well. I'll take it off audio because I don't have something loud enough in here to do it. We'll just leave that on like that. Let me go and kill the lights. Well, if the light's off, you can really see it going to town. I just wonder if the lights were taking power. Let me turn the lights back on just for kicks. So with the lights on, it's still going. You just really can't see it too well. So let me turn those back off again. It's just hard to believe the lights can make that big of a difference being on or off. Oh, my camera is not focusing. Focus camera, focus. There we go. All right, let me go and turn off the last light. I can really see it go go on the town, but now you can't see the sword very well. It's got to get just the right lighting. Now let's take He Man, He Man. Let's set him up uh, right about there. Line his sword up straight. Put it right in front of Castle Gray Skull. Let's line up our camera angle of this. There we go. Let's 
see now it looks like his sword is powering up actually I gotta lower it a little more I have it on the sword instead of in his handle there we go ta-da now it looks like his sword is all powerful lightning let me get a couple more lights on here let me turn on the overhead light So there you go. If you line it up just right, it can be a really cool effect. Ta-da. What a fun toy. Let me stick this light on the front of this, see if it. So there you go. That is the cool ball. Now I was thinking it could be kind of fun to take and put this like on some sort of green screen or something and then use it to uh, Look like the swords lighting up in He-Man's hand the same kind of way that you see here. But basically green screen it up close. Get that out of there. Maybe you light it up like that. And then once you have it zoomed up close, it'd be kind of cool. Let me go grab another camera and see if I can get it to line up a little better on a close mode. I'll be right back. Alright, so I grabbed my Weiss phone, which is way better than mine. And I got a cool white light to shine here on the front. But it is going to require a little bit of a uh, Finesse to not have the in, in the photo. There we go. It works pretty good right there. And then I am say uh, by the power of Grayskull, and then turn the ball on. Pshhh. I have the power. That's just so cool to sit there and. Bish, 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 bish. Hers has the two times zoom, so it comes out looking way cooler. Side is pretty cool looking. I think you guys can hear that or not. It's just the barney with the light in front, you get that reflection off of it so much. It almost have some kind of ambient light just to light the sword up. Anyway, that is pretty cool. Let me go and turn the lights back on. Lights on. Oof. And of course the lights on now you really can't see the lightning hardly at all it's just all way too bright let me just kill a couple of these you can kind of see it now let me kill another one here this one too this up to his hand again there's some kind of cool effects you can do with it I could see you kind of messing around with this especially if you were to take it like I said put it on a green screen first and capture that I'm gonna take some pictures and see how it comes out looking and then I'll post them on the end of this video as well so all in all it's kind of a cool little ball um, again I uh, I would not use it with my phone i found out really quick that when i had it turned on when i'd go to touch my phone all kinds of craziness started happening so having your phone on is a bad thing when you're trying to uh be near this and i kept getting shocked and i found out oh there goes my light rolling away stop rolling light 
And I found out if you held your finger in one place too long, it gets really hot in that spot. So if you hold your finger there, I keep it there as long as I can. Oh, it's starting to get pretty warm. Oh, it's getting pretty hot. Oh, ho, oh, oh. So if you do get this, just be careful, be warned that it can get pretty hot. So just as a heads up. All right, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys next video. It is kind of a fun toy if you set it up right. So it looks like He-Man's transforming with the power of Grayskull. But it is uh, kind of a dangerous toy at the same time and can shock you if you're not not careful and can burn your finger. So it's not for kids. Not for kids. All right. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. See you guys next video. Bye now.